Hey everybody. Hello. Oh gosh, I'm so sure I'm gonna grab a pillow. How is everybody doing on this Tuesday? Don't mind my sacks of stuff over here. I haven't even unpacked. I went to the Watch Your Flea Market this weekend and it was so amazing. I had so much fun, so much fun. I cannot wait to show you guys everything that I got. Hi, Amy. So this is going to be a little bit of uh, oh, a little bit of a different sale. Hi, Debbie. Um, this is going to be a four dollar offer up sale. So everything in this sale tonight is going to start at four dollars and go from there. Sorry, we just got done with dinner a little bit ago. Hi, Frugal. Hi, April. Yes, so about the flea market, oh my goodness, you guys. I, oh, it's better than a spa day for me going to a big outdoor flea market. And watch here, here in Iowa, it's a, a town about an hour away. And I had two full me days. I went completely by myself, no boyfriend, no kids, nobody to rush me. Hi, Angie. Thank you. Um, it was so much fun, you guys. It was seriously so much fun. I got so much stuff. I went, it starts on Thursday. That's like the early bird day. And then there's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I went Thursday. I paid a little bit extra to get in Thursday. And so I went Thursday all day and then Friday all day. And then Saturday, I didn't go, and Sunday, I didn't go. But Saturday, I skipped it because um, me and my mom went to a an amazing garage sale in Indianola, which is a town that's the opposite way. It's like a half an hour away from me, but it was amazing, too. I got so many good treasures. I cannot wait to show you guys. Um, a lot of the things that I got at the flea market is going to, like, I'm going to have a hard time getting myself to sell because... I love them, and I wanted to start a little collection. Hi, Deb. Oh, hi, Deb. Um, I haven't had a chance to check my email today, but you are more than welcome. Go ahead and put your channel in. Type your channel in. Um, everybody go t check out Deb's channel. Um, but yes, um, let's support all the YouTubers, small YouTube channels. Hi, Katie. Sorry, it's hard for me to read it. Um, but yes, I got so many good treasures, so much stuff. Like this whole, I have a big sectional. It's a, it's like a U-shaped sectional. And this whole side over here, you can't really see it. Here, let me see if I can show you guys. It is completely packed full. Like, when I do my haul video, I'm going to have to split my haul video. Hi, Uncle Andy. I'm going to have to split my haul video into um, into like two or three parts because I got so much stuff. I s spent $285. That's a lot of money for me. But it was two full days. Like I said, it's better than going to a spa. It was amazing. It was so much fun. Okay. So, shall we get started? Let's do... Okay, what did I have picked out here that I was going to do first? Some, somewhere. Okay. 
like I said, this is a $4 offer up sale. Everything tonight starts at $4 and goes from there. You guys know, most of you, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how the offer ups work. Um, just type in the number that you want to bid, basically. If you're new here, um, send me an email at junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, junktobeloved at gmail.com. And... Um, make sure you include your YouTube name so I know who you are and your real name and your shipping address and your PayPal email address so that way I can get you an invoice sent over. Okay, let's get started, shall we? The first thing is this glass flower frog. It's really pretty. It has one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 holes. It's really pretty to like, you know, display your old marbles or whatnot. And this one's got, it's, I like how it, this one's like shaped. It's kind of different, but it's really pretty. That is, see, it's like got a, a bubble in the glass. Can you see that right there? It's like bubbled out right there. And right there, right there. Oh, it's three feet. Duh, Missy. Duh. Duh. So that's what it is. Anyways, it starts at $4. If anybody is interested in this glass flower frog. And it measures... There's no chips or cracks in it at all. I think it's neat how it's made. It's got like grooves. I don't know if it's hard to see it, but it measures three inches round. Three inches round. And then I get it measures almost um, an inch thick almost an inch thick so four dollars and I see Debbie Shaw at four dollars so we're gonna go through these pretty quickly I know the lag sucks sometimes but I feel like I got quite a bit of stuff to do tonight so we're gonna like I said we're gonna go through this quickly so I'm gonna start calling it we got four dollars for Debbie going once Four dollars for Debbie going twice. Hi, Chicago lady. And sold to Debbie Shaw for four dollars. Congratulations, Debbie. Okay, next let's do, I thought this was pretty cool. Now a lot of the, like, I don't know if you guys watch my um, preview to this um, sale or not that I, the little thing I did, um, but I only showed in the picture a few things. I didn't show everything. Like this was one of the things that I didn't show. I think this is pretty cool. It's a sifter. And I like the advertising on it. I think it's pretty cool. It is missing a little bit right there, as you can see. But I think it's pretty cool. It says one cup polished chrome plated sifter shaped for convenient, no scatter sifting. Catalog, 98 cents. Made in Japan for aluminum, something, 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 because I can't read it. It's tore there. Company Inc. St. Louis, Missouri, I think. Okay, we got Frugal Magpie at $4. It's cool and it still works great too. And then it's got the black handle. I see Frugal at six. 
$6 for frugal. I like it. It works so nicely. And it's a really nice display piece as well. You could put like a little succulent. I see Angie at seven. Like a succulent in there or an air plant. Frugal's at eight. I like that. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Oh, thank you for tuning in, Karen. So we got $8 for frugal and Angie's out. Yeah, please let me know if you guys are out, if you could. That way it'll just move things along a little bit faster. And Uncle Andy's out. Okay, I'm going to start calling it. I will go a little bit slow for those of you that are lagging just a little bit. So we got $8 for frugal going once. $8 for frugal going twice. And sold. Thank you, April. Thank you, guys. Um, sold to Frugal for $8. Congratulations. And if, again, if you guys are new here, um, just send me an email at junktobeloved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters, junktobeloved at gmail.com, and make sure you include your YouTube name so I know who you are, and your real name, and your shipping address, and your PayPal email address so I can get you an invoice sent out. Okay, next let's do, I thought this um, was pretty neat. It is like, like an Indian, like an, um, a Native American um, salt and pepper shaker set. And it says Pasco, Washington, 3051I. Bex Earl age fix 24 dash. I have no idea what that means. So I have no idea. Yes. Um, if you've already sent me your, um, info, I don't need it again. Thank you, Debbie. And Deb, um, Deb Brum, Rumgard, um, did you include your YouTube channel on there? Go ahead and put your YouTube channel in the comments and that way we can go check it out and we can, everybody can subscribe. But this is starting at $4. I thought this was really neat. Anyways, guys, sorry. It's a salt and pepper shaker set. That's how it works. You just push down the buttons like one salt and one's pepper, and then it comes out the bottom. So that I thought that was different. I never really had seen one like that. These little guys are connected, so you can turn it upside down. You know they are not gonna come off. They're on there for, for good. And they both have their little feathers. There's that guy, and then there's that one. And I just thought this was pretty cool. A really neat little advertising piece. Yeah, I think it's cute. I've never seen one like that that had, you know, that comes out the bottom like that. So, I don't know. Oh my gosh, now it's stuck. Oh, duh. Duh, messy. It works just fine. So, this is $4 if anybody's interested in this. 
Start this guy out at $4 for the salt and pepper shaker set. And I, that, that needs, you know, it's got some tape residue on there. As you can see, some paper residue. I didn't have time to take it off and make it look all pretty before the sale, but. You know what I just noticed? Look, this one has a baby on its back. Can you see the little baby on its back? Oh, <laughs> that's cute. So it's a mama and a daddy. And I think it's cute. And then that side's just blank. That side's just blank if you didn't want to have that side showing. Okay, we will move on. Um, let's do... Let's do, let's do this cow creamer. He's pretty cool. He does not have any chips or cracks as far as I can tell. Nope, he's smooth all the way around the rim and the ears and the spout. And I'm not, he came, he had another one when I picked him up and the other one was marked Japan, but this one's not marked. But he's, he's cute. He is just a plain white cow creamer. So I see Angie at four. And I will measure him for you guys. I like his little tail as the handle. I will measure him. He measures seven and a half inches long. And he is... A little over, well, I guess I should measure it with the tail at the tallest point. It is, I would say, about four and a half inches tall. You have this creamer too? Cool. I like it. I think it's adorable. It is a little dirty on the inside, so it'll need cleaned up a little bit. Like I said, I didn't have time to clean anything up really. But I like him. I think he's so cute. He's got a little bit of tape residue on him. There we go. And I see April at five. Again, he is, what did I say? Like seven and a half inches long. So he's pretty decent size. You could put, like, how cute would that be, like, since he's all white? How cute would that would be with a green air plant or succulent in there? That would be so cute. For, like, um, if you did, like, you know, a country display or farmhouse chic. And Angie's out. So, I'm going to start calling it. We got $5 for April going once. Five dollars for April going twice. Yes, we do, Uncle Andy. <laughs> and sold to April for five dollars. Congratulations, April. All right, let's do, I thought this was cool. Now this is a Disney, it says copyright Walt Disney production. And again, this would be cute with a little air plant or a little succulent in it. But look, it is Prince Charming and Cinderella and like a horse and a buck carriage. And like I said, it says copyright Walt Disney production. And he's handing her the glass slipper. It's just a little cup. Plastic cup. It's not marked on the bottom. No markings on the bottom. Just on the front. Walt Disney production. Copyright Walt Disney production. 
$4 if anybody wants to start this out. I think it's adorable. This would be so cute with like an air plant or a succulent in it, I think. So, so sweet. And it measures... It measures um, three and three-fourths inches tall and two and a half inches round. And it's just blank on that side. And then look, that is so cute and adorable. I just think that's so cute and that would look so neat with an air plant or succulent in there. And I see frugal at $4. I love the Walt Disney, the vintage Walt Disney stuff. I think it's so neat and it catches my eye. And I just, look, he's giving her the glass slipper. Is that not adorable? And then the little horse and carriage up there. It's so cute. So I'm gonna start calling it. We got $4 for frugal going once. $4 for frugal going twice and sold to frugal for $4. Congratulations. Told you guys I'm trying, I'm going to try to move through these um, pretty quickly. Okay, next, I thought this was pretty cool. This is like a wooden carved dude, <laughs> wooden carved guy, and he's got like earrings and I don't know what this is. He's holding it in his hand and I really don't know what it is. And feathers. And he's, he's just pretty cool. He's just a pretty cool, let's see if I can sh show you his face, if I can get whatever that is out of there. But I like him, I think he's really neat. He's not marked, there's no markings on the bottom. He's just carved out of wood. Hi, Jessica. How do I charge for shipping? Um, I just, pack everything in a box. Usually most, <clears throat> most everything fits in large flat rate boxes. So it's really not that much money. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. I just pack everything up and put it in a box and wait on the scale. And then I get on my USPS app and put in your zip code and the weight of the package and the size of the package and it tells me on there what to charge for shipping. And I ship from Iowa. I ship from Iowa. So 50138 is my shipping. You're welcome. So if this is starting out at $4, if anybody's interested in this wood carved guy, Uncle Andy's at four. Look at his face. He looks like so nostalgic. And he's got like earrings and a bracelet and feathers. And I don't know what that is. Yes. Yep. That's how I do it. So he's pretty cool. This dude. I like him. So we got Uncle Andy for $4. He's like a tribal, you know. I don't know if you'd call him tribal. What would you call him? I don't really know, but he's pretty cool. And I really don't know what that is. But it's kind of creepy because it kind of feels like real hair. don't I don't know 
Oh, if you hear a noise, it's okay. And Jackson's playing his DS. It's okay, Jackson. Okay, so I'm going to start calling us. Um, so we got $4 for Uncle Andy going once. $4 for Uncle Andy going twice. Yeah, it can be anything you want. He's carved out of wood. It's really neat. He's like wood. The whole thing is carved out of wood. And then he's like got the... Got cloth on him. I didn't even look at... There's his bag. Four dollars going once, four dollars going twice, and sold to Uncle Andy for four dollars. Congratulations, Uncle Andy. All right, next, next I have this. Now this is really neat. You're welcome, thank you, Uncle Andy. This is really cute. See the little honeybee on the top of the pot? Is that not adorable? I just think that this is the cutest thing. A little cute honeybee. And it's a music box, and inside it says, Granddaughter, you're my honey bear. Oh, how cute is that? And it is a music box. And it plays when it's closed, even. And on the bottom, it says Porcelain's Limoges Frugal, I think. I can't read it, really. And then I can read, it says, Granddaughter, you, you're my honey bear. Plays, you are, you are the sunshine of my life. Number D1241, 2001, the Bradford Exchange. That's what that says on the bottom. I know, I love it. I think it's adorable. No chips or cracks anywhere. None. It is in immaculate condition. I love the little honeybee again on the pot. It is so cute. And frugal, did you say, did you put um, $4 in for this? I'm sorry, I haven't been paying attention to the chat. Cute, cute little music box. I think it's adorable. And it is... Frugal's at five, five inches tall, and let's see, I'd say about four and a quarter inches wide, maybe, like that way. I love this. So we got um, six dollars for Karen. We are at $6 for Karen. I just think this is so cute. And look at the little tail. It's so precious. Frugal's at seven.
Karen's at eight. And again, it says 2011, the Bradford Exchange. It plays, you are the sunshine of my life. And then it's marked number D1241. So it might be, this might be a pretty special piece. Somebody had wrote the... I just think it's precious. So we got $8 for Karen. I love the little honeybee pot. I think it's so cute. Frugal's at nine. Karen's at 10. So we got $10 for Karen. Frugal's at 12. Look at the eyelashes, it's so sweet. This thing is amazing, I think it's adorable. It still plays super well. So cute. Look at that little precious little face. Karen's at 15. It is the Brad 2011, the Bradford Exchange. Plays You Are the Sunshine of My Life. Granddaughter, you are my honey bear. It's adorable. And frugal is out. And so we've got $12 for Karen going once. Or, sorry, reading that wrong. 15 for Karen going once. 15 for Karen. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, um... 15 for Karen going twice and sold for $15 to Karen Howard. Thank you, Karen. And if you are new here, um, if you could send me an email, my email is junk to be loved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters junk to be loved at gmail.com. Make sure you include your YouTube name. So I know who you are and your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address, so that way I can get you an invoice sent over. Okay, next let's do, I thought this was neat. Thank you, Karen. This um, like abalone shell, it's super cool. It's got the feet, so it's like a fit, it's like a shell dish. It's got the, like, the plastic lucite feet on there. They're so cool. So, it's a dish. It's a shell dish. This is so pretty. I really like this. Again, starting $4. Everything starts at $4. Super pretty. I like how it has the feet on there. It's a shell dish. And I love the colors. Look at the colors. It's so pretty. Yes, it would be really cute for soaps in the bathroom. Or bath bombs even. Adorbs. It's so pretty. I love the colors. 
it measures five and I would say almost five and a half inches long. And then it is about two and a half inches tall with the feet. Oh gosh, no, don't eat out of it. I would never eat out of it. I like the, um, the Lucite feet on there. They kind of feel like glass actually, but I don't know. I don't know. But $4 if anybody's interested in this. Beautiful shell dish. I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I think it's super neat. Super, super neat. I like the bumps on there. Okay, we will move on. A succulent garden. Yeah, that would be cute too. I like I love the colors. I mean, I'm a huge I like it. It's very cute and kitschy. Very kitschy. Okay. Let's do This is pretty cool. I like this. Oh, I like this butterfly tin. What are you doing, Bubby? Oh, yeah, you can put something else on. Look at that. Look, is that not the cutest decor piece ever with the butterfly and the hummingbird? Oh, I don't think this is too old. It says hummingbird and butterfly seed mix. And it's in good condition. A little dirty, but not too bad. I just think I like the colors. That's what that side looks like. Then there's this. So pretty. $4 if anybody's interested in this. I just think it's a really, really um, cute display piece. I really like it. And it measures, and especially for springtime, you know. I see $4 for Deb. Especially for springtime. Look at this. I don't know if it's even really picking up the colors that much well on here, but it's like a, a teal blue, and it's just really, really pretty. But anyways, it measures a little over seven inches tall, a little over four inches long, and a little over three inches wide. And I see six for April. It's super pretty. I love the colors on there. Seven for Auntie Christy. Ten for Deb. I really like this. I love the colors. And Auntie Christy's out. April is out. Thank you guys. So I'm gonna start calling it. We got $10 for Deb going once. $10 for Deb going twice. And sold to Deb for $10. Thank you, Deb. It is very beautiful. I thought I 
I love the colors on it. I can't wait for you to get it, Deb, and see the colors because it's just so cool. It's not really picking up that well on, on my phone. Okay. Next, let's do this so I can get it out of the way. Okay. Next, I have this adorable vintage little girl's dress. Now here is the tag. There's the buttons. See how it buttons in the back? I'm gonna show you the tag. You see that tag? Look how vintage that is. It says Polly Flinders hand smocked size T2 for care C reverse. Delicate cycle, warm water, drip dry. DC do not bleach. And it's 50% cotton, 50% Codel polyester, made in Barbados. That's what it says. So I see $4 for Deb. Um, Debbie Shaw, if you're lagging, um, sometimes it helps to go out and then come back in and um, make sure you're on the live chat. I'm sorry. I hate the lag. Isn't this adorable? I just think it's so cute and how it says hand smocked. Size T2. It's so funny. Did you get me for the Avalon shell? Mm, no. Mm, no, I didn't. I didn't get anybody for the shell. I got you for the butterfly bird tin. Did you want Deb? Brungard, did you want, were you bidding on the butterfly bird tin? That's what we were at. No, I didn't have anybody for the shell. Did you want the shell for $4? Please let me know. Deb, did you, what, what, sh I got you for the, the butterfly, I got you for this, for $10. I know, smocking is a word you don't hear very often. Hand smocked. You're reading the, you're reading the bets for the, what? I'm confused. Deb, I'm confused. We were on this. You got this for $10, correct? That's what we were on. Let me know. You wanted this for $10, right? That was what the bid got up to. Can anybody else get her attention? I'm I'm here, Deb. I'm here. I'm talking to you. You must be lagging, Deb. You need to go out and come back in. And you need to let me know. She wants the shell too, I think. Can we do the butterfly tin again if she wasn't bidding on it? Yes, Auntie Christy, we can. I'm just waiting to hear back from, I'm waiting to hear from her. I think she also wanted the shell. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking too. Deb, you got this for $10. Deb Brungard, 
You got this for ten dollars. Um, you wanted this correct for ten dollars. Please type yes or no so that way I know. Yes, I did four dollars on the ten, and I got the shelf for two. Mm, it's the opposite. You got this for ten, for ten dollars, and. You can have this for $4. So I will write this down. People were bidding against you on the tin, but nobody was bidding on the shell. So you can have the shell also for $4. I will write that down. Thank you for clarifying. That way I know, and sometimes I know the lag sucks and people we can all get confused on there. Okay. All right. Now let's start completely fresh with this. We're going to start completely fresh with this. $4. If anybody's interested in this cute little, see how it ties in the back? Oh, I hope I'm not freezing up. What, baby? But you have to leave the sound off. You can't have the sound on. Yeah, go out and then come back in. We're going to, everybody start fresh with this. Look at how adorable this is. $4 if anybody's interested in this. Cute, cute, cute. Hand smocked, you guys. Paul, Polly Finders. Or no, Polly Flinders. Thank you. <laughs> yes, perfect, Deb. Yep. Well, it you did ten on the, but it's the opposite, Deb. You people were bidding against you on the ten, so you got the ten for. Um, ten dollars and the shell for four, so it's the opposite, but it's the same. Okay, so is anybody interested in this? If not, we will move on. It says hand smocked. Yes, I want that. So this is $4 if anybody's interested in this. $4. The tag is so cute. Hand smocked for this T2 vintage dress. It's like a 2T really is what size it would fit. A size like a 2T. They did. Luke, the boys already showered. Yeah, and I want dessert. You can go ahead and get the boys some ice cream if you'd like. Real quickly. Hi. <laughs> oh, careful, baby. Okay. Anyway, we'll move on if it, nobody's interested in this 2T dress. Sorry, Luke and Bridget just got home from mushroom hunting. Hello, Debbie. Isn't it so cute? I know, a size 2T. Pass. Okay. Jack, hi. Jack says hi too, guys. Okay, so we're moving on. Okay. I'll set these over here that don't sell. Okay. I don't know what else to do. She's not here. I don't... Deb, I'm here. I can see your comments, and everybody else can see your comments. Um... I think you're lagging, hun. I think you're just lagging. But you got the stuff. I got you for the tin and the shell. So we're good. 
I got you. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, next. No, Ross, go. Okay. Next, I have this hand-blown glass vase. It is thick. Can somebody else send her messages to get these messages? Deb. <laughs> Poor Deb. Poor Deb. Deb. I hope you eventually see this, but Deb Brungard, we can see you. Your message, we can see your comments. I can see you on there. I got you. I got you, girl. You got the tin. You got the shell. You're good. You're good, good. You're good to go. Okay, guys. Let's do this. It is a hand-blown glass vase. It's a little bud vase. It's got polished rim. See how it's thick? See, do you see how thick that glass is? So again, $4 if anybody's interested in this glass vase. I love the swirls. Do you see the swirls? There's no chips or cracks at all. None. There's bubbles. You can see the bubbles and the swirls. Dad. It's so pretty. Dad. Come on, go on, break this account. Yeah. This Sorry, guys. They're trying to get the Batman game going. and Okay. No, he's not going to play it while you're eating. You're not supposed to watch it. Sorry, guys. Ross got in a little trouble at school, so he's not going to be watching video games today. Anyways, $4 if anybody's interested. Yes, mom life. <laughs> Yes, always make sure you're in live chat, not top chat, live chat. Make sure you're in live chat. But this is $4 starting out. If anybody's interested in this glass, um, it's a hand-blown glass vase. You can see the bottom. Uncle Andy's at four. And I will measure it. It is so pretty. Look at the bubbles. You can see the bubbles and the swirls. It's just so pretty. And then this side's just like... I don't know. I don't, it kind of looks like a tornado to me. That's what it reminds me of. Like a tornado. But it measures, and it's thick. It's really thick glass. It measures three and a half inches tall. And like two and three fourths inches round. It's just a little stubby. Bud vase. I love how thick it is. And look how the rim is smoothed and polished. It is so pretty. So we got $4 for Uncle Andy. I'm going to call this a tornado. The tornado vase. The tornado glass vase. Because it's just so pretty. So $4 for Uncle Andy going once. $4 for Uncle Andy going twice. And sold for $4 to Uncle Andy. Great. Bye, Uncle Andy. All right. Mm, I'm done with the red dress, Deb. You poor thing. I 
I feel so bad for you, Deb. You were caught up there for a little bit. Okay. Next, I have... Get some of this stuff out of the way here. Let's do... Ooh. This is pretty cool. I really like this. And this is the 45th annual... Amera meeting, Boston, 1973, Jackson. Sorry, guys, hold on a minute. Don't play that yet. You gotta wait till Ross is done eating. Okay, let me go to the 45th annual Amera meeting, Boston, 1973. The USS Constitution, Paul Revere statue, State House, Plymouth Rock and Mayflower, Old North Church, House of Seven Gables, Minuteman, Swan Boat. It says all that, all those on there, like in the different spaces. This thing is cool. Now this is a glass dish. It's got the ruffled edge. It's all glass. $4, again, to start out, if anybody is interested in this. I think this piece is pretty cool. Um, there is no... I'm going to feel all around the edges to be double, to double check. But, no, there's no chips or cracks. All the edges feel great. This thing is cool. I like, I mean... It's, I, it's got some really, really cool graphics. Do you see that? The Paul Revere statue and the swan boat. So I think this is pretty cool, this glass dish. $4 if anybody is interested. If not, we will move on. I just thought it was pretty cool. I like it. I like this. Do you I take PayPal? Yes, I do take PayPal. That's how I send out my invoices, Kimberly. Um, if you're new here, send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. Um, all lowercase letters, junktobeloved at gmail.com. And make sure you include your YouTube name so I know who you are your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address so I can get you an invoice sent over. Okay, if not, we are going to move on from this. I just thought this was cool. I think it's pretty neat. Okay, this goes over here. Okay. Those are places to visit in Boston. Oh, cool. I've never been to Boston. I've never been on the East Coast, like over that area I've been. I live in Iowa, and so the furthest I've been is Ohio. I haven't been any further than Ohio. Okay, let's do, let's do this. I love this cute little, what do you call it? Like a nappy dish, but it's got a, hey, shh. Ross, hurry up. Jackson, come sit down. Is it like a nappy dish? It's got like the handle. But look how beautiful lusterware that is, and it's all paint, hand-painted. <clears throat> hand and it says made in Japan on the bottom, the stamp, and then it's got that, that marking. So I'm not for sure. $4. Yes, I have the nappy dish, Deb. Yay, you're good. <laughs> I see Julie at five. Look at the mountains. Look at the scene on there. It's so pretty. So pretty. 
It does have a little bit of gold. Like, can you see where the gold has came off just to, on the rim right there? Just a tiny, tiny little bit. No chips. It's all smooth. No chips or cracks. It's so pretty. Yay, you're back, Deb. <laughs> and I see Uncle Andy at six. I love the scene on there. It's so pretty. Love this dish. And like I said, made in Japan. Julie's at seven. Oh, it's got like a bridge. Like you can feel, you can feel the painted, where it's painted on there. But I like the bridge and the water and the mountains. I love it. Love it, love it. So I see Julie at seven. I'm gonna start calling it if nobody else is, wants to go any higher. It's a beautiful little dish. Oh, I guess I should measure it. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, it is four and a half inches long with the handle. It is four inches wide and one inch tall. So it is a very cute little nappy dish. So I got $7 for Julie going once. You're good, Jax. $7 for Julie going twice. And sold to Julie for $7. Congratulations, Julie. Okay. My pin's not working now. Okay. What? Honey, I don't know. I can't see you. It doesn't look like it. Sorry, guys. Luke's asking me <laughs> if he has any ticks on his back. <clears throat> I keep saying that I should just have a sale during the day. But um, I don't know if many people would watch during the day because, like, a lot of people work and stuff. And, um, I mean, I could have one during the day. But I'm hopefully going to get my she shed within the next few weeks, which is super exciting. So I will hopefully be able to do sales out there. We will see. Okay. Next, let's do this fun vintage beaded safety pin candle holder. I just think this is so cute, and it'll come with your own candle holder, glass candle holder, because I don't know how to get it out. <laughs> I'm sure somebody could work on getting it out. I just really didn't try that hard. But I think this is so cool. How does he think you are going to see a tick from that distance? <laughs> I know, right? It is always something. It's mom life. It's mom life. I'm always taking care of everyone. It's okay. I don't mind. But that's just men for you, right? Okay. Let's do this kitschy um, beaded safety pin candle holder. Men, right? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so four dollars for this if anybody's interested in this kitschy thing. It's the beaded safety pin candle holder. There's the beads on the bottom. Got four dollars for Julie. I think it's super fun. I'll measure it for you. 
It measures four inches tall and about four and a half inches round. Yes, definitely vintage this is. These, this safety pin beaded art used to be super, super popular back in the 70s, like 60s and 70s, I believe. Yes, boho, very boho style. I love it. I think it's super cool. So we got $4 for Julie going once. $4. Do I have shirts available? Um, my cousin Amanda makes my shirts. This is, this is one of them. Junk to be loved. Um, my cousin Amanda makes my shirts. Um, she will, um, her link is in my descriptions. I don't know if I put it in this description, but if you go into my other videos, you'll see her link on there. She makes my shirts for me, and if you want to order one, she can make you one. I think the t-shirts are 15, and the sweatshirts are 25, I believe, but don't quote me. But I believe that t-shirts are 15, and sweatshirts are 25. Okay, so anyways, $4 for Julie going once. $4 for Julie going twice. And sold to Julie for $4. Congratulations, Julie. Yes, very hippie style. I love it. Hi, Candace. Okay, let's do oh, this is this is neat but weird. I would like a shirt and extra large. Okay, um just send me a message, Uncle Andy. Just remind me, if you don't want to order it directly from her, you can order it from me, and um, I can have her make one, and then just um, send it with the stuff that you order once she gets it done. I could do that. That'd be awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I think, actually, you will be the first person that has ordered a shirt. Okay. Now, this is a little different. I just thought it was neat and it caught my eye with the minks. It's mink oil. And I just thought this was a great advertising display piece. And $4 again to start out. It's mink oil. And it is in there. If I can get it open, let me see how. Thank God it's thick so it can't like spill out anywhere. This is hard to open. There we go. Ugh. Whoo. It sure does have a smell to it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't necessarily like stink, but kind of like takes your breath away a little bit. But, I mean, I just thought it was a cool, great advertising display piece. And it says, can made in the USA on the bottom. So I know it's vintage. And it says, Cavalier Mink Oil. And then it gives the directions. Made by the Kiwi Polish Company. P-T-Y-L-T-W-D. In Pottstown, P-A. One nine four six four USA. 
So $4 if anybody's interested in this. Oh, I have a lot more. If not, we can move on because it's kind of different. It's not for everybody. I just thought the minks on there were super cute. And, you know, I thought this would look cute and maybe. I just realized it. I didn't think of it before, but this would kind of look cute in a Christmas display with the blue and the green and with the trees and the snow in the background. I just think it's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, a date on the 10. I did not see a date. No, there's no date. And the only thing it says at the bottom, it's tiny. It says can made in USA. Sorry, it's not wanting to focus very well. Yeah, there's no date on it, unfortunately. Okay. Next, I thought this was neat. It's a little wooden trinket box with shells. It's got like the clear coat over the shells. And it's just a wood little trinket box. And it's got its little feet. $4 if anybody's interested in this. No, it doesn't have a barcode. No. No barcode on the mink. There's no barcode nowhere. Okay. $4 if anybody's interested in the shell dish. $4, are you at the shell dish, Deb? Is that what you're bidding on, Deb? Make sure, make sure you say yes, shell dish. <laughs> I love it. I think it's cool how it's shiny on the top. And look, it's got like even a little sand dollar. Perfect, Deb, perfect. It's got a sand dollar in there. Yeah, very 60s. It's cool. I like it. Oh, for the other thing you mean, Candace, the mink oil. I like the wood. See how the... I just think this is a cute little trinket box. And it measures three and three-fourths inches by three and three-fourths inches because it's square. And it measures one and three-fourths inches tall. I like the swirly shells in there, too. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we got $4 for Deb going once. You'll buy the mink tin for $4. Okay, I will write you down for that, Auntie Christy. $4 for Deb going twice. And sold to Deb for $4. Congratulations, Deb. And I'm going to write you down right now, Auntie Christy, for the mink oil tin. Okay. All right, let's do oh, Clippy. 
Let's do this hardback book. I think this is pretty cool. Sally the Screech Owl. It is hardback. It is from, this is property of Grinnell Public Schools on the inside. It's got that, oh gosh. I love the smell of old books. I don't know about anybody else, but I love the smell of old books. Like when I go into a library, like an old library, I love it. I, I love the smell of old books. It's got really cute illustrations too. Yes, I love that smell, I do. Copyright 1964 by Benefit Press. Cute. Sally and Sam, eek, was something near? Sally looked up, eek, there it was again. <laughs> So we got Auntie Christie for four. Sam came. He sat in the tree. Eek! He went again. So cute. Oh, look at them. They're in love. I think it's so cute. This has quite, oh look, it's still got the old library card in it. In the back. And this one is from, oh no. This one has 48 pages. 48 pages. Sally the Screech Owl. So we got $4 for Auntie Christy going once. $4 for Auntie Christy going twice. And sold to Auntie Christy for $4. Congratulations. I love that book. I love the smell. Okay, next, let's do, you're putting a smile on my face, aww. <laughs> I, I read books to the kids every once in a while at nighttime. It's been a couple weeks because we've been really busy, but they like it when I read them books before they go to bed. Okay, next, let's do this cottage cheese dish. I had cottage cheese for dinner tonight. I actually made a really good dinner. I made a big pot of goulash, cottage cheese, and garlic cheese bread. That's what we had for dinner. But let's do this. And I believe it's Japan. It doesn't say Japan, but there's the number. And it just looks Japan to me. And you can see how it's older, the wear on the bottom. But it is a cottage cheese dish. Again, $4, starting out if anybody's interested. I like the cheese on the top. It's funny. It's pretty cool. It's a little, it does have crazing. As you guys can see, it does have crazing. And I guess it's one tiny little chip out of it right there, but you can't really, can't really even notice it. I love it. And it's like got the wicker. I think it's ceramic. I see Happy in the Harden. And five, thank you, Happy. I think this cottage cheese dish is pretty cool. 
It's got like the wicker, you know, but it's not wicker. Oh, I love goulash too. I do. I love goulash frugal. It's so yummy. I make the best goulash. I think I make the best goulash, but I might be biased. But I've been cooking for a long time. <laughs> I mean, with having six kids, you have to cook sometimes. Okay, so we got $5 for happy going once. Again, I think it's Japan. The numbers say 53 out of 59. There we go. And Uncle Andy's out. So we got $5 for happy going once. $5 for happy going twice. And sold to happy for $5. Congratulations, happy. Okay, next we will do this Tanala candle holder. It's just one, that's all I have, that's all I found, was one Tanala, um, like a pillar candle holder. And it's signed on the bottom. Again, $4 if anybody's interested. It does have a little bit of paint wear right there on the back of the head. A little bit of paint wear. I have never seen a Tanala candle holder before, ever. Come on, I, don't, I can't even read what it says on the bottom. Yeah. Come on, Grace. Grace, go putty outside. <laughs> Doby needs his meds too. Can you give Doby his meds for me? Thank you. I love the flowers. Look at that. Oh, wait, Bridget, don't take her out yet. She's waiting for Dobie's meds. Well, when we give my Dobie, my boy dog, his meds, because he has to take three meds two times a day. Auntie Christie's at six. Um, we give them to him in a hot dog because he just takes them so easy that way, his pills. And... Um, my other dog, Miss Grace, the teacup chihuahua, thinks they're treats. The hot dog is a treat, so. I see Lottie Ward at eight. Hi, Lottie. Isn't that cool? Julie's at nine. I love the flower. I bet you guys just love my facial expressions because it's so busy all around me, but you guys can't even see it. <laughs> okay, I see Auntie Christie's at 10. Yes, it's very, very neat. I like the bird. I've never seen a candle holder. I've never seen a Tanala candle holder ever. Okay. Julie's at 11. You. Look at the bird. You fly away. <laughs> it does have a little bit of crazing from age. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. And Auntie Christie is out. So we got 11 for Julie. And like I said, it is signed on the bottom. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start calling it. Look at the big eyes, I love the big eyes. So we got $11 for Julie going once. $11 for Julie going twice. And sold to Julie for $11. Congratulations, Julie. Okay. Next, I have these. Now these are adorable. I had a hard time deciding if I wanted to keep these or sell these because these are so cool. Hi, Michelle Peterson. These are so cool. They're Hallmark Animal Rummy Card Game. Hallmark Cards, Inc., Kansas City, Missouri, made in USA, but there's no date. There's no date, no bar barcode. Any grasshoppers? Um, I don't have no grasshoppers, Michelle, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But it, I can keep an eye out for grasshoppers stuff. I very, very rarely see any. But... Okay. It's still got the, oh, that is awesome. Look, it's still got the instructions. Oh, in the packages. <laughs> Grasshoppers. It was a cricket. It was, <laughs> if you guys haven't watched my video that I posted earlier today, you should probably go watch it because I had a horrifying experience. Like I literally almost died of a heart attack. <laughs> but when I was editing the video, it was hilarious. It was so funny. It was so funny. I was just laughing so hard. But anyway, okay, back to the game. It's still, um, it's still got its instruction cards in the game, so that is so cool. But look, monkey, elephant, deer, hippopotamus. I don't even think these cards have ever been played with. They've got such cute, oh, look at that. These are awesome. Camel. So again, $4 for this card game, if anybody's... Oh, look at that. This is so cool. Uncle Andy's at four. I love this. This is so cool. I, this is actually the first time that I've took this out and looked at it. Happy's at seven. Oh my goodness. Koala, oh, yeah, I, you could use them for package toppers. You could use these for your, um, you know, your card, your price tags at flea markets and stuff like that. You could use these for junk journaling. You could use these for display. These are so, uh, so cute and adorable. Happy's at nine. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That's so cool. So in this game, I guess, Animal Rummy, it's got the different colors and the cards go all the way up to 13. It's got every single one of its cards. It's not missing any. These are so cute. So cute. So Happy's at nine. When you saw that cricket, I better spit my coffee out. I was so hard. <laughs> It was seriously huge. It was like a big 
cricket. Like, I... It's the weirdest thing. Like, I have no idea how it even got in here. It must have been, like in something that I purchased and I just wasn't paying attention or something because I'm telling you, I've never, not one time seen a cricket in my house ever. Not once. <laughs> and now I'm always like, wait a minute, what was that? <laughs> that really, it was, it, it was funny editing the video back. It was, it wasn't, I mean, it was funny after the, the fact I wanted to like screenshot my face. I wish I would have been turned more to the camera when when I seeing the cricket because I bet my face was like priceless. <laughs> okay, so we got nine dollars for happy going once. Nine dollars for happy going twice. Thank you, Uncle Andy and sold to happy for nine dollars congratulations happy Okay, let's do, let's do this Hazel Atlas strawberry dish. Hazel Atlas strawberry dish. It's a jam jar, jam jar, strawberry, whatever you wanna call it. Starting it out at $4 again, no chips or cracks. The rim feels great. On both sides, it's got a tiny little bit of paint where around the edge, as you can see, but I mean, not bad at all. And it's a cute little strawberry hazel atlas jam jar. And I will measure it. It measures three and a half inches tall, three and a quarter inches long, and three, or I mean two and a quarter inches wide. And I see Happy is at 10 for the strawberry jam jar. I love it. Lottie's at 12. I like how you can like feel the, the seeds. Happy's at 13. And that's a strawberry with a little stem. So we got 13 for happy. Again, no chips or cracks, just a little bit of paint wear. And Lottie is out, so I'm gonna start calling it. We got 13. Oh, Frugal's in at 15. We got 15 for Frugal. And Uncle Andy is out. And Happy is out. So we got 15 for Frugal going once. 15 for Frugal going twice. And sold to Frugal for... $15. Congratulations, Frugal. I'm going to get Dad, because I need his help. Where's Dad? Dad? 
Jackson, have some consideration. He's trying to eat, Jackson. Okay. Yes, congratulations. Okay, let's do, we'll do a few more things here. Let's do this art glass. What, what do you think? That's a swan, a beautiful swan. There's the bottom. It's, it is like completely flat. The bottom is, but it's not polished smooth. Can you see how it's a little flat? foggy or whatever, you know, not crystal clear. Yeah, it's a swan. I love it. Can I Luke, can you go shut the door so people can't hear Grace barking? The door is shut? Oh, she's loud. Okay, so we got $4 for Uncle Andy. I will measure this for you guys. Sorry, I was a little distracted there for a minute. Um, there is no chips or cracks. There is a manufacturing bump right there. Can you see that? So, it's in the glass. But this is so pretty. I love this piece of our glass. I love art glass. I know. I really, really love art glass so much. And this measures four inches tall. And three inches long. And three inches wide. It is beautiful. I love the swan art glass again no chips or cracks very pretty the bottom is it's like I don't want to I wouldn't say polished I mean kind of polished I guess can you see that it's so it's smooth it's all smooth So Uncle Andy's at $4 for this beautiful swan art glass. You're getting a heck of a deal if I sell this to you for $4, Uncle Andy. I love it. I mean, I will sell it for, for $4 if that's what it only sells for, but I think it's so cool. I love this piece of art glass. I love it. I don't really want to call it yet, but I will. Is anybody else interested for five? If not, I'm going to start calling it. This is the one piece that I'm sad about today. <laughs> because I wasn't, I was going back and forth if I wanted to put this in my own collection because I collect glass what colors are on it. It's like blue and white and orange and yellow. It's so pretty. I like how you can see the details in the wings too. See that? See the details in the wings and on the face and on the beak. It's cool. So I see Katie at seven. Uncle Andy's at eight. Yes, there's so many pretty colors in there. And I love the details. 
I just love it. It's really pretty. I think it's neat how they make art glass. You see that, how it's like swirly? And the details on the tail. So we got Uncle Andy's at eight. Katie's at nine. I think it's neat how they do the curve. Like it's all, it's just neat. This is so cool. I love art glass. I would love to be able to go to a factory and watch them make it like watch a demonstration. It'd be so fun. So Katie's at nine. Look how it's like curved at the neck. It's like, oh, I'm a little baby swimming away. <laughs> a beautiful swan. So we got Katie, $9 for Katie going once. $9 for Katie going twice. And sold to Katie for $9. This beautiful art glass swan. I love it. All right, let's do this. Thank you, Katie. I believe this is Namaji, but I'm not 100% sure because it is not marked. And I believe Namaji is usually marked, so I can't say for certain or this is um i think i had a piece of pottery that was like this from montana if i can remember right i don't know but it does have one little tiny flea bite right there one little tiny flea bite. But I love how it's green inside. Do you see that? How it's green on the inside? And then like the wood grain color on the outside. $4 to start out if anybody's interested in this. Really neat art pottery pitcher. It measures four and a half inches tall and five and a half inches long, I think. Oh, I'm like, what is that sticker residue right there? $4 if anybody, oh, Deb, I missed you. $4 for Deb. I got you, Deb. $4 for Deb. I'm going to start calling it. Happy's at five. I'm not going to start calling it. <laughs> but I'm going to set it down real quick so I can get a drink of my water. Bridget, you want to do me a favor? Will you shut these curtains when you go to second? You don't have to actually worry about this one behind me, but that one over there, that'd be great. Okay, so Happy's at five. Now I'm going to start calling it. We got $5 for Happy going once. $5 
five dollars for happy going twice. And oh, Deb stuck in there at six. So we got six dollars for Deb. I think this is so neat how it's got the green glaze on the inside. It's pretty. So we got $6 for Deb. $6 for Deb going once. $6 for Deb going twice. Oh, Happy's at seven. Happy snuck in there at seven. It's so pretty. So we got seven for Happy going once. Seven for happy going twice. And sold for $7 to happy. Congratulations. Okay, let's do this. Now, before you guys start going crazy, I have to let you know he has a broken nose. He has a broken nose. See, his nose is broken. But, can you see his nose? Oh, it's a little broken. He is a bluebird of happiness, signed. He's got his original sticker. Bluebird of Happiness, and he is signed Leo Ward, 1998. 1998. It is sad. It is sad that he has a broken nosies. But you know what? If he's just sitting on display in your own collection, that's okay. Maybe somebody won't care. I have not cleaned him up. He is dusty. I do need to clean him up. He is dusty. Am I selling the notes separately? <laughs> yeah. Maybe if I had it. <laughs> oh, it is sad about his nose. It is sad. But like I said, you know, he is got his original sticker and he is signed. He is signed. It's hard to see the signature, but he is signed. Leo Ward, 1998. But he's cool. He's like a bird in flight. He knows dived. That's what happened. Right? <laughs> okay, so we got Lottie at 10. I like how he's still got his original sticker. I think it's pretty cool. What? Jackson, we don't scream. I know, I hadn't seen one with spread wings like that either. I think it's cool that he's got his original sticker and he's signed. It's a bummer. Can you see his signature, like, if I put it like that? It's a bummer about his nose. But like I said, if he's going in your own collection, then, then I guess it doesn't matter. He doesn't glow, I don't think. 
Did I miss the little red dress in the picture? Amy, um, it didn't sell. So I will go back through the stuff um, here in a few minutes. I got a couple more things that I'm going to do. Okay, does anybody is... So Lottie's in at 10 So $10 for Lottie going once. $10 for Lottie going twice. You could, yeah, you could polish him, his nose up if you're good at that. And sold to Lottie for $10. Congratulations, Lottie. Um, make sure you send me an email at junktobeloved at gmail.com if you haven't yet already to register. Okay, then you don't need to send me, if you've already sent me um, your info in the past, you don't need to send it again. I've already got it. Hi, Divergent Crafter. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Jackson, you're not going to your room. Okay. Because your brother's in timeout. Okay, next. Oh. Thank you, Michelle, for putting my email in there. Um, next, we have this carved bird. Again, starting at $4. It's carved out of a horn. I think this is super neat and cool and kind of kitschy and eye-catching and it's a conversation piece julie's at five look at the eyeballs this is so cool i think it's neat and i guess i can measure it it measures Nine and a half. Wow. Nine, oh, it's a little over nine and a half inches long. That's actually pretty big. I didn't even... It's curved up a little bit. You see how it's curved like that? It's made out of a horn, I believe. I believe it's carved out of a horn. I believe, I believe. I think it's pretty cool. I really like it. See how it's got like the slots in there? How they made the slots? So you could like stick pictures in there or cards or anything. It's pretty cool. They did a really good job, whoever made this. Hi, Barter Mania. This is pretty cool. Okay, so where are we at? Jackson, be nice to your sis. Okay, so we got seven for Julie. Again, they did an amazing job. Like, whoever made this, I think it's pretty rad. I like it. What is going on with my... There we go. So we got seven for Julie. I'm going to go ahead and start calling it. Seven for Julie going once for the carved horn bird. Seven dollars going twice. And 
and sold to Julie for $7. Congratulations. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. It's I When I first seen it, I'm like, that is really neat. Somebody, like, did a good job. All right. Next. I have this display piece now i think this is pretty cool it's glass this is glass this is california perfume co and then it's got the lady on that side so you can sit it you know on your i think this would be cute for like in a display with you know like vintage head vases and vintage purses and vintage perfume bottles I think it's cool and it might be Avon I don't know it doesn't say Avon anywhere it doesn't say Avon anywhere on it but it could fold close yep four it's four dollars starting out it can fold close there again no Cracks in the glass. It might have been Avon. I have no idea. I just think this is a cute um, glass display piece. And Candace is at four. I like the gal on there. Uncle Andy's at six. It's it's really cool and it says California Perfume Co. right in small right there too. April's at seven. And you could fold it shut and it goes flat. I really like it. No cracks or anything in the glass, no chips. No, nothing. And Happy's at nine. Very, very pretty glass piece. April's at 10. I like that lady. She's fancy looking in her dress. And Candace is out. Look at her umbrella. And her little bag purse. Oh my goodness. So cute. Okay, so we've got April at 10. And Uncle Andy is out. So we got $10 for April going once. $10 for April going twice. And sold for $10 to April. Congratulations. Divergent Crafter. Um, you can just send me a message. Um, my email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. And um, it's all lowercase letters. Just junktobeloved at gmail.com. And you make sure you include your YouTube name so that way I know who you are and your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address so that way I can get you an invoice sent out. Okay, April Hughes got that. Congratulations.
All right. I am... What time is it? Nine o'clock. I've been going for two hours. I don't... There we go. Finally, it let me show you. Thank you, Michelle, for putting that in, Peterson. Thank you um, for typing that in. It wouldn't let me for the longest time. That's what I was sitting here distracted for. I was trying to get it to let me click on it because it said it was in review. Okay. So, I will go real quickly over. Oh, wait. I got one more thing. I got this bowl. It's like a metal bowl. And it says Canton Compote, number 136 BW Co. Barrett Ware. It's got like an eagle and a lion. Art Grace. Barrett Ware Art Grace. Can you see that? Sorry about the glare. I don't know, but this is cool. Again, starting out at $4. I like the the graphics on it. I mean, you could use this as a fruit bowl. As anything, really. You could put anything in it. Amy's at 10. And I will measure it for you guys. It is 7.5 inches round. And 3.5 and inches tall. It's pretty cool. It does have like a few little scratches on the inside from wear, as you could see, but not, not bad at all. I mean, it's got a little bit of wear on the inside. I've never seen a bowl like this before. I think it's pretty cool. And like I said, it's metal. It's a metal bowl. Amy's at 15. Thank you, Uncle Andy. I had to start downsizing my pile because, um, like I said, hopefully within the next couple weeks, I'm going to be getting my own she shed. Yay! <laughs> That's super exciting because... I'm, you guys seen at the beginning of this video all the... Carol's at 16. Thank you, Carol. Um, you've seen all the stuff that I picked from the flea market this past weekend. I showed you guys. I mean, my whole section of my couch is completely full. Well, just think of that times like 10 rows. And that's behind my couch going into my kitchen. So I'm just ready to get stuff organized. Amy's at 20. Carol's at 21. I'm just ready to get stuff organized and um, get my house back and then have my own area where I don't have to worry about anything getting touched or broken or... Amy's at 23. It is. It's a beautiful bowl. And again, it says Barrett Ware Art Grace and it's got like a what looks to me like an eagle and a lion. Carol's at 25. It's cool. It is. This is a, this is a really, it's really cool. Like, I like how it's metal. And look at, I mean, I guess I should show the graphics more on the outside. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. I like it. Okay, so we've got Carol at 25. Amy's at 30. Carol's at 33. Yeah, I'd be pretty with Clementines in it. Or lemons, yes. I mean, it's super pretty. I love it. I love it. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. Even the base. 
And Amy is out. So we got 33 for Carol going once. 33 for Carol going twice. And sold to Carol for $33. Thank you, Carol, so much. Are you leaving, Tanner? All right, guys, really quick. Let's run through the items that didn't sell, which I guess is only three. <laughs> so that's pretty, pretty cool. The first thing was this salt and pepper, the Native American... Um, Indian, like Indian salt and pepper shakers. They're pretty cool. They come out from the bottom. See, see that? Isn't that cool? I've never seen one that comes out from the bottom like that. And Happy's at four. Oh, and look what makes this. This is what makes this for me. Look, guys, look at the tiny little baby in the back. Do you see that tiny little baby on the mama's back? It's so cute and adorable. So there's the mama and there's the dad. So Happy's at four. I'm gonna start calling it. $4 for Happy going once. $4 for Happy going twice. And sold to Happy for $4. Congratulations, Happy. All right, next we have this adorable 2T dress, little girl's dress. Now this is vintage, so cute. There's the tag. Do you see what that says? Polly Flinders hand smocked size T2. You never see size T2. That's so strange. Right? And it's hand smocked. So I guess this would Polly Flinders. Yeah. So I guess this would fit a 2T, a little girl size 2T. So again, $4 if anybody's interested to start out. Hand smocked, you guys. It's hand smocked. It's so funny. And it says T2. They don't say that anymore. It's usually 2T. There's the back. It's in really, really, really great condition. No holes. Look, it can tie. It's got its little ties. So if you want to tie it. $4.00. For the vintage little girl's dress. And then the last thing was this glass dish. And it says 45th annual AMRA meeting, Boston, 1973. It's Plymouth Rock and Mayflower, Old North Church. Seven or the House of Seven Gables, Minuteman, Swan Boat, USS Constitution, Paul Revere Statue, State House, Plymouth Rock and Mayfair. I'm not for sure where I started. I'm getting super tired. <laughs> Obviously, my contacts are getting dry, but this was four dollars and measures. No chips or cracks, and it's a glass dish with ruffled edges. 
measure seven and a half inches round. And then about an inch and a half tall. Okay, that was it. Those were the two things that didn't sell. I don't see it's tell me error again, Peterson. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. Thank you guys so much for um, tuning in and enjoying this live sale with me tonight. Oh, Uncle Andy, what did? Which one did you want? This? You want the glass dish, Uncle Andy? Just type yes if this is what you want. And I'll get it to you for $4. Thank you, Amy. I can't wait to show you guys the stuff that I got this weekend. I seriously cannot wait. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get to it tomorrow because uh, we've our dumpster. We ordered a big giant dumpster because we tore down an old shed in the backyard. So I can put my... get. A new brand new she shed um but so i don't know if i will have time tomorrow but i'm going to spread all the stuff out that i got because i mean it's hundreds of items on my kitchen table and then i'm going to show you guys everything i got i'm super excited okay yep okay uncle andy i will put this down i will write you down right now so i don't forget I'm going to put Boston glass dish for $4. Okay. So I, like I said, for the next few days, I'm going to be pretty busy um, working on the garage. And then I've got, I've got to get your guys' invoices sent out and then get the stuff packaged up and shipped out for you guys. So it's going to be a busy rest of the week for me. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to have time to do another sale this week, but hopefully maybe next week I can get two live sales in. Maybe I can do one on Tuesday and then one on Thursday. Um, I'll try to get something planned out because I've got so many items and the more things that I sell now, the less I have to move into my she shed. So that would be cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off here because I'm getting super tired and I got to get kids put to bed. So, um, thank you for tuning in. I really, really appreciate all the support. I love all my YouTube fans and subscribers and all the other YouTube channels as well. It's so much fun to watch all different resellers because everybody's got different style and taste and it's just so much fun. I love it. But, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So that way you're notified. Hit the bell button so you're notified when I post um, new videos and when I'm going to have um, my next live sales. That would be awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to get off here for now, but good night. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.